The thought of a sawmill has been on my mind for many years. Why buy one and settle for what you get when you can build one and get exactly what you want? The construction began the summer of 2010 and stalled December 2010. Now, after 11 months of sitting, Project Sawmill is back in black. Sit back the madness. The axle I will be using for this trailer came off a boat a neighbor had spun a bearing on. I grabbed the axle and put it in my inventory for many many years. It saw the daylight just over a year ago, when I was able to obtain some spindles off a three-quarter ton, two-wheel drive, 1985 Chevy truck headed for the scrapyard. The 16 and a half inch multiple ply heavy-duty truck tires, plus the cool hubcaps, made a perfect candidate for my sawmill. The steel that you see being used as I carefully measure the squareness of the axle was obtained from a radio tower that I disassembled many, many years ago. I've used the aforementioned steel in multiple projects, this being the last and final project of the aforementioned and much beloved Tower Steel. I'm such a good welder. Look at me. Look at me. Drink it in. Weld. 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 I'm awesome. The 2x3 steel, square tube, you may call it, that you see me using here shortly, was obtained from a building project down the street. They used it to shore up and had extra and was going to scrap it. And of course, it went in my shed for several years. Here I'm getting ready to center and square the axle on the trailer. Grind, grind grind grind. There is the aforementioned 2 by 3 square stock steel. Everything has a light coat of surface rust from sitting outside measure twice, three times, multiple times, weld, weld, weld. Everything has a light coat of rust on it from sitting outside, but nothing, an aggressive wire wheel and some rust-oleum paint won't cure. I'm so strong, look at me, raw. 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 Measure. Measure. Ah, measure. Ah, look at the light change. Weld, weld, weld. And then this idiot comes walking down the street with nothing better to do but get dirty on my project. <laughs> so I oblige him. Weld, weld, weld. Placing more tower steel to triangulate the ends of the axle, I weld, 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 weld. My neighbors do think that I'm not playing with a full deck. Three neighbors stopped me today asking me, what the hell, dude? And when I explain, I'm so cool. When I explain that I'm so cool, I'm building a sawmill, Ugh, I'm so strong. I'm going to do some more welding. They all gave me blank stares with a furrowed brow, wondering if I had smell too many welding gases. Look at me. I'm talking. I must have something important to say while I weld, weld, weld. Ah, oh, more talking. Talk, talk. And weld. And talk. More talk. Talk, talk. Weld, weld. And weld. Don't look at the light. Look away, kids. Weld. I like it. Let's see if the axle will fit now. Which way did the axle go? When I built the spindles, he says, I gave it a slight toe in so it would toe straight, but I do not remember which is the front of the axle. What am I supposed to do? What am I going to do? Heavens to Murgatroyds. How about measuring it? Oh, idiot. Oh, huh, yeah, here's the front. That's good. <laughs> Are we going to take the axle around? <laughs> With the two stooges. And will it fit? Drum roll, please. La. 
Awesome. Center it. Center it. Pink, pink, pink. I'm going to mark it with chalk, where seven minutes later I'm going to hit it with a wire wheel and then paint over it with two coats of paint. Duh. Rust Oleum Rusty Metal Primer and Rust Oleum Satin Black Oil Base on both counts. Brushed it on. Awesome! Stay tuned for tomorrow when I will be building the log bed. The bed will be 5 feet wide, 18 feet long. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.